there? It's still there. I can see it. Yeah. Oh, what a horrible <laughs> trick. <laughs> That's weird in another way. Yeah. But, uh, Why was I little Bo Peep? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. His friends are sick. They That's are what it is. Sick. Uh, so we have the new album. You do yes. concerts. You have... I'm just trying to run down some of the stuff that you've got going on. You're in like every movie coming out in the next couple of years. It's crazy. Your star is on its way to outer space. You're in Bewitched, The Pink Panther. They're working, I think, writing an opera for this point. Yeah. Uh, on NBC, which I miss because they make me watch all NBC shows. <laughs> I know, I bet they do. Um, I but love it. How do you like that? I really love it. I mean, I'm learning more about politics and where like Ramallah is and um, what the Fraternal Order of Police does. but. I'm, f I'm having a great time. And you're going to be on it all next season, too? Yeah, next show? season I'll be back, yeah. I'm surprised they haven't written in your singing into the show where, like, you they and keep, President Bartlett going. They keep going. trying, but I'm like, isn't it weird that all of a sudden I'm like, welcome to the White House! That you know, would be awesome. That would be weird. People must freak out when you're on stage to see this amazing voice come out of a much smaller frame. Is they, that... They're always surprised when I get off stage, but, like, when I stand next to you, when we walked out, I didn't realize that, how tall you were. Right. But usually when I'm alone, people say, oh, She's normal size, but then when I stand <laughs> next to somebody else, they go, oh my God, she's really short. So, you have amazing, here's the album. What, tell us a little bit about this, this particular record. This is uh, inspirational material. Yeah, very different from Lighthouse, <laughs> but I am a big Lighthouse fan. This is... Um, a beautiful cover there. Uh, thank you. This is, uh, I covered a couple Trisha Yearwood songs and Faith Hill. I also did, for those of you who know who Sandy Patty and Amy Grant are, yeah. I did some of their songs. And then for my musical theater fan base, I did a really funny surprise track on there. A little bit so of everything on here, right? It's very eclectic, yes. Not just a pop record, not no. just inspirational it's stuff. Little... Hopefully just make you feel good. You right, know? right. Is it, uh, do you have any hip-hop songs? No, <laughs> no, but I did want to call it, um, Kristen Chenoweth getting Jesus-y with it. But yeah, didn't. that would have worked. They didn't go for it. Getting Jesus -y with it. <laughs> Some of the song titles I thought were interesting because it's not, I mean, I guess when you put a, a record out like this that we call inspirational and mm -hmm. not necessarily just uh, Christian music, not which is a all. billion dollar industry. Yeah, now. totally. But you want it to hit sort of, uh, you don't want it to, to sound like it's a, sort of a preachy record. You want it to right. hit a lot of people and you I have a lovely voice. I want it to be voice. no matter what your faith is, just to make you feel good. You Some know? of the song titles I thought were interesting. Word of God Speak is on here, uh, Borrowed Angels, uh, Joyful, Joyful. It, it sounds pretty. Uh, did you think about maybe changing some of these song titles? Yes, I did. <laughs> what is that? Kristen Chenoweth, a lot of loaves and a little fish. Kristen Chenoweth, bigger the hair, the closer to heaven. I like that. Kristen Chenoweth, clearly my arms are too short to box with God. I like that too. Kristen Chenoweth, now with 30% more Jesus. Fantastic. That'll be in the follow-up. Uh, the album is As I Am. Congratulations on this. Thank the you. West Wing, Wicked, and everything else you're doing in the movies come back. Thank and you for having we me. We can talk more. I know you're, you have to run off here. We yes. have Kevin Millar from the Red Sox. I'm really mad. I hope I get to meet him on my way out. You absolutely will. Uh, but you're going to get an award. Where are, you, where are you going right now? Well, West Wing is getting an award. Yet for, another award for I know, West Wing. right? And um, I'm the one in New York, so I'm going to go pick it up for the rest of the cast. But it's um, we're getting it because uh, they write great parts for women on the show. So... I right. get to go and pick it up. That's well, cool. that's fantastic. Yeah. Fitting, you're a woman. You should go. Nice to have you here, Kristen. Thank you very much. Kristen Chenoweth, everybody. As I am director, we'll be right back with Kevin Millar of the Red Sox. Right after this. I know this girl named Bum. She got a rough dance club. Last Call is packing up and going on the road to the City of Angels, Los Angeles with Carmen Electra, Matt Dillon, Minnie Driver, Hugh Hefner, Shannon Elizabeth, plus the Donnas, the Eels, Gavin DeGraw, and more. Coming to you from the famous Palladium Theater in Hollywood, California. It all starts Friday, May 6th. No harder, Swabbies. Siberia is still half an ocean away. At the base, your drummer will never get there. Oh, well, Sink. Oh, can't you row without me drumming? You'd be keeping the beat if you drank a Red Bull. Red Bull? Yeah, the energy drink. It vitalizes body and mind. <laughs> You're all pumped up. Shows me brain. Forget Siberia. Let's do Bermuda. What a genius. Or even better, let's do Hawaii. It's boy for everybody. Red, Red Bull, Bull gives you wings. Oh, I need some suntan lotion. I am better than you. I last, and you don't. 
Yeah, baby! New extra cool green apple with the mouth-watering flavor that lasts and lasts. Extra flavor and beyond. Who's next? I'll see you want me to come over tonight. That's cool. Yeah.